Hey guys, it is so good to be with you again, and I miss you all so, so much. So today I want to tell you guys a story on something called faith. I'm sure you've heard the word faith before, but what does faith actually mean? Well, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to think about that while I tell you guys a story from the Bible. The, you can find the story in Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 to 13. The faith of a centurion. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone else in Israel with such great faith. I say to you, then many will come from the east and the west, and will take Isaac uh, and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom of heaven will be thrown outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And the servant was healed that moment. Wasn't that an awesome story, guys? So, back to my question. What is faith actually? Well, faith is like when you believe in something, but you have never seen this before. So, I want to ask you a question. Have you guys ever physically seen God? We haven't, but we still believe in him. And we need to have faith in him like this centurion who had so much of faith that he told Jesus that if you just said the word, his servant will be healed. And because of this faith, his servant was healed at that moment. So when we have faith in God and when we ask for something with faith, we're definitely going to receive it. So just to help you understand faith a bit more clearly, I'm going to show you guys a demonstration. Hey guys, so for today's demonstration, I have my little guinea pig with me, Arman. So Arman's going to have to have faith in me to let me guide him through this whole dining room, which is so messy, to let him sit on that chair without getting hurt. And just to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to blindfold him. Because remember, faith is when you believe in something you can't see. Arman, can you see anything? No, I can only see darkness. Okay, so he, see, he can't see anything. And he's going to have to have faith in me to guide him. Okay, I'm on. So you're going to take three steps forward. Okay, now you're going to take two steps to the left. Now, two steps forward. Uh, four steps forward. Now you're going to have to take two steps to the right. And four steps forward. Turn towards the table. Uh, one step back. And you sit down. So there you go, guys. That's faith. A man trusted in me to lead him across the dining room so I wouldn't let him get hurt. And the same is with Jesus. He will never let you get hurt as long as we have faith in him. I miss you guys and love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. Trouble
my faith in my passa for you We live in the fall You are the way, the truth, and the life We live by faith and not by sight for you everybody thanks so much for watching our video i hope it was a blessing to you if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed and would like to please hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time we post a video and if you'd like to communicate with us please feel free to leave a comment down below have a blessed day